Joseph W. Brady points out dramatic enrollment increases in Victor Valley College programs in this conversation updating his campaign for re-election to the VVC Board of Trustees. First thing, Terry, whoever's watching this, I, I, I hope people vote, period. We, 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 I think there's... I think our, our country is very divided right now. I think that people are hurting financially. I think that inflation and, you know, gas prices and crime and all those things are, are real hot. Uh, getting down education is, is, like, really important. So, one, I hope that I've earned the trust of people. Um, I've, I've been on the board since I was appointed in 2011. I've had three successful uh, elections, 2012, um, uh, 16, and 18. VVC is doing great. We've got a great leader. We've got a great team of, of deans out there that are working. Um, kind of a for, for instance, at our board meetings, and I've said this before, and I think people find this hard to believe, uh, and I've suggested this to other elected officials that if you're on a council, you know, do you, do you have some goals or, or what is your goal? So we have goals, minus community involvement. So this week we have a lunch that, that LJ has, has worked on with the general contractors up here. The, the whole idea when we connect the college to these different groups that, that we meet with is to find out what they need, explain to them what, what we have. I mean, most people don't know we have 100 different programs on out there. I mean, every time Dr. McKenzie Tarango comes to the the podium and tells us about a new program, I just go, wow. Because, I mean, it's not talk. It, it, it's, all, it's all about th the programs. Uh, we have, as, you know, as I said earlier, we all have um, goals as trustees, and we rotate every other meeting. There's, there's three trustees that will give their report. So in our meeting last Tuesday on the 11th of October, Brandon Woods, Trustee Woods, uh, trustee uh, Sharon Pinkerton and Trustee Dennis Henderson gave gave their reports. But let me tell you this: this is this is staggering. I'm going to ask you to put this on up. This has nothing to do with my election. This has to do with with how well Victor Valley Community College is is progressing at a time that we've come out of COVID. Okay, every community college across the country is down 20 percent. We are actually up. We we're doing a great job. We we we've had our three largest graduating classes ever in the last three years. We have our largest high school class ever joining VVC ever. But listen to these stats. So this is what this is what Trustee Wood uh, put out. Now his goal is demonstrate commitment to supporting and improving student outcomes, including em enrollment and retention strategies to maintain FTES, full-time equivalent students, through planning and restore allocation and resource allocation. As of September, enrollment is up in the following years. Allied Health, 35% increase. CIS up 38%, child development up 41%, restaurant management 42%, criminal justice 45%, animation up 47%, welding up 48%, automotive up 84%, construction courses up 100%, agriculture up 103%, electronics up 119%, Paralegal studies up 145%. As a governing board, it's our role to regularly review key indicators of student learning as a part of our, our accreditation. Terry, these are staggering numbers. In the in literally the almost almost 12 years I've been on the board, we have never seen these kind of numbers, and now we're coming out of COVID. So, you know, I take my head off to the trustees and, and Brandon and on, on, on this report. But more importantly, I think the leadership that Dr. Wallens brought in, in John Nolan and Dr. Mackenzie Taranga and Dr. Scott and, I mean, Art Lopez, it goes on and on and on. And it, it, this, is, this is really a collective. The last thing that we're doing, we, 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 got, we had a proposal last week, it's not cheap, on how we are scheduling classes. That's like the art of the deal, and that's where there's a lot of frustration. So we have bought a brand new program. It was not cheap to do. Uh, it will roll out soon. I don't know how soon it will be fully implemented, but we're going to be able to take a look through, through a computer's eyes on, on the classes, how many people are enrolling, is it the right time to do it, so we can, we, if, if we can get our enrollment processes down, and our scheduling down, you'll see a huge increase because we live in a market where we have so many people that leave every day. We have 85,000 people go down below and some want to come back and take a class. We, 
we've got a, a group of people that that want to be here but they can only take a bus so you want to be sure that that they get transportation to and from so i'm i'm really really excited about that that has probably been one of the biggest complaints that i have heard as a trustee about i can't get my classes and then the problem is that they get a class and then it's changed because there's not enough people or there's too many so you know under under the leadership of dr todd scott and then really dr walden and i think a huge blessing of the board it was an easy thing to vote for that's that's going to happen so um you know I'm, I'm pleased with how 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 the election's going uh, we've gotten some really nice key um endorsements from people that are more connected to my district so rather than going outside the area and looking you know big we've got congressman jay jay obernoldi uh, we've had assemblyman tom lackey uh, we've had uh, current superintendent of schools ted alejandre the former superintendent of schools dr herb fisher dr gary um, uh, Thomas, who is the former, we've had, uh, everybody knows, uh, Mr. Baker with, um, uh, Victor Elementary School District. I mean, they, just, just, just a great guy who really, I mean, Ralph, you know, Dr. Ralph was just, uh, I think an all, you know, an all time winner, you know, Terry Caldwell on the council, James L. Cox, you know, the former mayor, Gloria Garcia, uh, Deborah Jones, the current mayor. So we, we, we've got a lot of people that I really care about. I've not asked any of the other council people because my, my district is Victorville. So why not ask people that have something to do with Victorville versus, you know, trying to load up uh, Janice Rutherford um, did, did have Kurt Hagman, the, the county supervisor, who's the chairman of, of, of the board. So I've, I, I've been, you know, real, real happy. At the end of the day, I just want to be sure that people vote. Our country needs everybody's vote this year. And I, I want to put a big shout out to, to Iris Gutierrez, uh, who helped me do a video for the Latino community, uh, and, and, a, and, and a last big shout out to my brother, John Pinkerton, and his lovely wife and my fellow trustee, Sharon Pinkerton. Uh, they've gone out and, you know, gone, and, and, and I know that, that there are some people that they know uh, that, that may not necessarily, you know, like my style or, or like what I stand for, and that's okay. We live in America. We can agree to disagree, and, you know, John has... John has done a lot of work. He's 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 been out there tirelessly. Sharon has. I love their videos. They've actually they get pretty good. They actually get pretty good numbers. They think I think they get better numbers than you and I do. So we need to we need to do something about that. To, so yeah, I, I just want to thank everybody. Uh, Sue, Sue 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 Moore that does our social media. Uh, obviously Terry Terry Kurtz for for what you do. Our sign crews uh, were, were were great. So. Let's just see. I just want everybody to vote and hopefully vote for Joseph W. Brady. Um, that's it. <laughs>